Last week, millions of people were left without power and water after a devastating winter storm wreaked havoc in Texas. In Houston, a furniture store owner known as Mattress Mac opened his doors to people seeking shelter from the cold. For more than three days, he gave over 700 people a place to stay and served thousands of meals to those in need. He is the definition of an American hero. From Houston, Texas, please welcome Jim Mattress Mac, Mac and Vale. Ellen, great to be on the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so happy. You're, you're awesome. So I'm going to call you Mac, OK? That'd be great, absolutely. All right, Mac, how are you and your family holding up right now? My family and I are fine. We all came out of the storm fine, so uh, we're, we're doing fine, just worried about the people who had a tough time. Yeah, what a great guy you are. And I know this hasn't been the first time you've done something like this, but the storm lasted, it started last week, and we've been seeing heartbreaking images of Texas uh, with the freezing temperatures. When did you decide you're going to open this store as a warming shelter? We knew that Sunday night was going to be rough, and it was. I woke up Monday, and there's snow and ice everywhere, which is really foreign to Texas. And I called the mayor at that time and asked him, could we open as a shelter? He said, the streets are too iced over the freeways. Wait until Tuesday. So we opened Tuesday morning, and about 1,000 people came in throughout Tuesday for the warming shelter, for the free meals we were offering, and then three or 400 stayed and slept that night. So were you expecting that many people to show up? We had done this before during Hurricane Harvey, and we have a reputation for opening the furniture store. So this is a big store. We've got lots of couches and matches for people to sleep on. So we were expecting a lot, but we got more than we expected, especially with the COVID crisis. We had to be careful on that. So yeah, of course. Mac, so why is it really unbelievable? Why is this so important to you? You know, my parents taught me when I was a little child that the essence of living is giving. And we've always had a saying here at Gallery Furniture that we have a responsibility for the well-being of the community. So if something bad happens, we want to be one of the first businesses to act because it's our job to help the community and not just take money out of the community. So uh, we don't want to necessarily make a lot of profit. We want to make a big difference in the community and make the community a better place. And when people are hurting, whether they're whether they're going to drown during Hurricane Harvey or whether they're going to freeze to death during this, trop this winter storm, it's our responsibility to step up and take a leading position. And that's what we try to do. And our great team members stepped up like never before. What a good guy. So the weather's finally starting to get better there. I I'm sure that's a relief. But so there's a lot to be done because the water is, they're still not drinking water, right? Right. There's a lot to be done. The water's tainted. We ha uh, Customers need uh, thousands of non-perishable food items. They need bottled water. We had a big food drive today with the Houston Food Bank, and we must have had a, a line three or four miles long. But Texans are people who come together during a crisis. We are best when we are united and not divided. And this crisis has united all Texans. And we've had a, a wonderful time working with our fellow citizens, trying to take care of the people that are less fortunate, the people whose homes, so many pipes bursted, thousands of homes in Houston the pipes versus everything got wet. So there's still a lot of work left to do, but we're looking forward to working it. Not, the crisis isn't over now. It's just really starting the recovery process. Yeah, I mean, as if people haven't been through enough with the pandemic and losing jobs and, and everything that everybody's been dealing with than to, to have this happen. We love what you're doing for your community. We're sending a lot of love to all the people in Texas. I know you started a GoFundMe page so you can continue helping people in Houston. We want to help with that. Our friends at Shutterfly care about support communities in need. They're going to donate $20,000 to Mattress wow. Max Winter Storm Community Outreach. So go to our website if you want to help. Find out how you can help people in Texas, because they still need a lot of help. Mac, thank you so much. So nice meeting you. Thanks, Ellen. We're going to get better in Texas. And thanks for all your encouragement and support. Thank you, Mac. We'll be right back.